All right, this is a compression plug. Uh, <clears throat> this is gonna be for a carbon steer tube. The alternative would be a star nut. So this does go in the steer tube of a fork, which is this right here. This fork right inside here. So this is steel, steel or aluminum. You're gonna use your star nut, which I don't, it didn't pull one out, but it's a little black thing. It looks like a little barbed hook style. It gets hammered inside, sits in about a few millimeters in, and then that's what your top cap screw grabs to make a headset adjustment. So compression plug, this, when I once I put this back together, it's going to actually displace more pressure evenly around a carbon steer tube so we don't harm the carbon steer tube. Uh, the steel um, star nut will actually want to expand and put pressure on the carbon. Carbon is really strong, but for what it's designed for, it's not meant to like implode or explode. So this is this is has a few pieces right here. It's actually probably the top. This would be our top cap. So a lot of times, just on the outside surface, you're going to see probably a either a five or a six millimeter hex tool opening. But if you look deeper, it's going to be going to have a, a different size, maybe like a five mil. So if there's six on top, there's five mil on, on the inside, or vice versa. It just depends on the maker. And this has several pieces. This is what's going to expand. There's one, two, three, four. And I'm also going to need an O-ring. So this fell apart because the O-ring got old. All this does is hold everything in place. So you can see the, the wedge here. Um, once this sits inside like this. So that wedge kind of conforms to this wedge here. May or may not come up on, on camera. But this is going to go all the way around. And then this is an, an exterior body. Here we have an interior bolt. Once that interior bolt starts to tighten, it wants to start to expand this, which will then make these pieces expand and hit the inner wall of your steer tube. And this is the, all the surface area it's gonna grab. So displacing good surface area evenly, um, bonding this to the interior of your steer tube, but probably easier understood once we just physically do it. So this is going to walk all the way around. And there's a little groove there for an O-ring that's going to want, basically it's a rubber band. It's just like that. So now i got to find the right size. This is a pretty cool kit. Um, I just ordered it from Amazon. Sometimes that's just the easiest place. Fortunately or unfortunately, call it what you want. So I need a decent O-ring that's going to fit around that with some pressure, but also not so fat that it's so wide that it will not allow me to slide this in the interior of the steer tube. So, but just for sake of getting this built, I'm going to use just whatever works for now, just to show you. So we got one, two, three. And then this just wraps around, holding everything in place. Easier said than done. But um, there's different styles out there. You may not have to deal with this. This is an FSA. You know, FSA makes decent stuff, but it's like, this is okay. Minus the O-ring that's going to fail over time. But if this fails during its life in your bike, not a big deal. As long as it's installed, um, the only time it's going to fall apart is when you pull this out of your steer tube. So when you loosen up your interior bolt, release tension. So it's not... Uh, it's not going to harm the integrity of your bike or headset. So there we go. So the only thing that's wrong with this O-ring is it's a little thick. We need to go thinner because it may not fit into the tubing of our steer tube. So like right now, it's <clears throat> the body slides in, but it hits the O-ring right there. So just got to get a thinner one, um, just a matter of locating the right one. And after that, basically, this will slide into the steer tube. And then to keep this from moving around, you want to secure it. You're tightening this interior bolt, which is, for this one, it's like a five. Yeah, so five millimeters. So as soon as I start to tighten this, this whole lower unit starts to expand outward. And it's going to grab its, grab the interior of that, of that steer tube. And uh, a lot of times they may not give you a torque recommendation, but I would imagine anywhere between three, 
in the neighborhood of three newton meters. You just don't want it to be slipping out. This isn't a high torque area. Um, it's not critical for safety. Um, it, this is really just involved in the whole adjustment of your headset. We're getting play out of your front headset so the fork doesn't move around and doesn't knock. And once that's good to go, then you tighten up the stem bolts on your stem. Those are the two critical ones. That keeps your steering in place and it'll keep your adjustment locked into place. So then once you slide this in, tighten this up. <clears throat> but I guess normally what I would like to do is thread this on. Maybe you get like, I don't know, two revolutions. Then we drop it in. Then I go through the middle. So I'm gonna bypass the six mil and then go straight down to the middle, which is five. And that's going to expand this guy into the steer tube once I hit my two or three Newton meters. And that varies per um, compression plug. So get your, get your specs on that. Now my headset's ready to go. So then I can tighten up this one here. So as I'm tightening this, because it's bracing off of your stem or and or washers, it's going to want to start lifting up. So it's going to pull that fork upward and it's going to pull the fork tight to the body, tight to the headset and compress it between your spacers up, up, up top on your stem to your stem, um, top of the stem and so on. So it takes all the play out. Remember this, this is an adjustment here. So this is just light pressure. There's no torque recommendation. Um, if you're doing a safe bolt, safe, safety bolt check on your bike, you're not wrenching this down just because you can put a tool on it. Um, there's no specific number. It's just it's like a handshake when you go to tighten it up. You're just kind of firming it up, getting the play out of there, just getting the play out. If you over tighten it, you're going to choke your bearings and then it's going to be hard for the steering to turn. So, and then once you get your adjustment, just tighten up your two stem bolts. You're good to go. If you're interested, I will show you more in depth or you can check out my other videos on YouTube that uh, I probably already did this.